I would just like to. Um, I, I, I want to share something with you that that um, crossed my mind this weekend. Um, I, I believe that we are. Um, I believe in divine providence, and I believe that um, tough times are coming and have for a long time. And I know that people think that I'm only trying to do that to scare you. Um, but quite honestly, I've met some of you. You scare the hell out of me with some of the things that you're thinking. So I don't think that we're, I don't think that we're necessarily not like-minded. Um, we just take the time to do the research because that's what we do for a living, and you don't have that. But I think everybody who is listening has an alarm bell going off on them. Now you can be people that um, that believe that. Um, well, the, the Chinese symbol for crisis is exactly the same symbol for um, opportunity. Okay, cool. I believe that. That's why we have built the blaze, because I think things are going to crash and come. Everything that you think you know is going to come crashing down and the world is being reset. Now, whether we get the opportunity to benefit from that reset, and I mean that with all Americans, I don't know, because there is structure being put in place that will make it impossible for you to do business, and if you're a small businessman, you already know that. So, I believe that tough times are coming, but I also believe that that means opportunity, and I don't believe that it is the end of the world. I do believe that someday... The mountains will split. And everything that everybody's been saying for thousands of years, I believe is going to happen. Could it happen in my lifetime? You bet. Could it happen a thousand years from now? Mm-hmm. But here's where, here's where I am. If you don't know what you believe, you don't make it. When you are going in and being dropped into combat, the reason why that phrase is there are no atheists in foxholes is because everybody has to decide who they are. What is it that you can count on? What is it you can count on? Can you count on your family name? Can you count on your money? Can you count on your position? Can, what, do you, what is it you can count on? I don't know what atheists um, can count on besides their intellect. That's totally cool. I have come to a place to where I don't believe I am smart enough, quite honestly, to navigate everything that is happening in the world. I need extra help. I need some divine providence. I need some extra inspiration. And I have come to a place that the more I realize that, the better things become, and I have let go more and more and more, and to the point to where I don't, I mean, people will ask me, why did you make that decision of X, Y, or Z, God? Well, what does that mean? Well, what do you think it means? I made that decision, I, I searched it out, and I thought this would be the right way to go, and then I prayed on it, and I fasted, and I really, I really thought about it, and, and I said, whatever you say is the right thing to do. And that's how I make my decisions. And sometimes those decisions surprise me. There are things that I do that I'm like, I, I don't see a way for that to work out, but that's what I feel like I'm supposed to do, so I do it. Back to the analogy of, of um, Jesus when he was talking to um, the rich man. Here's a guy who's wildly accomplished. He's wealthy, and he claims to believe in Jesus. And he's like, I can help out. What do I do? What do you need? How can I follow you? And Jesus says to him, no, here, here's how you do it. You, you, go, you go back and sell all your stuff and then you come back. Now the guy's not going to work and do that. Why? Because he was offering conditional help. He was offering, I'll help you. I'll help you. I, I, how can I help? What, what, do you, what do you need from me? Because I've got it. i got it all. What do you need from me? I need you to go sell all your stuff. Now, the left will make that into an anti-money thing, an anti-rich thing, but it's not. It's an, 
it's a guy who has no faith. He has put his faith into things that are fleeing. When you're in the foxhole, your money, your reputation, your connections mean nothing. It doesn't work that way. And so what we're supposed to do, God's not asking you to get rid of your money. Just because you're, you're um, well off or you have more than your neighbor, God's not, God doesn't have a problem with the money thing. The money thing is irrelevant. 